And now pretend the ever efficient pie is going up and lighting candles <laughs> and the candles work. <laughs> so we're going to kind of work our way through the order of service. And we have the prelude and Ty has restored God's light in the sanctuary. Thank you, sir. This is a different form right there. So you have a heater. Yeah, yeah it's in a, in a heater. <coughs> okay, uh, we walk, have welcomed everybody. And I'll make a very brief announcement while the rest of you think of if there are any other announcements. We are coming to the end of our reader schedule and uh, Gene is our last reader of the year. So we saved the best for the last. <laughs> and I'm about to do the new schedule. If there's anybody that's not on the schedule that would like to be, please see me today. If there's anybody on the schedule that would like to get off the schedule, please see me. So otherwise, whoever's on the schedule now, I'm going to re uh, reorganize it for another quarter. So if you're not on it and one on it, see me. If you're on it and one off, please see me. So, any other announcements? Birthdays. We got some birthdays. Uh, Mrs. Job, you got a birthday. Yeah, it happens every year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. You're 39 now. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you. Yeah. You've aged. I thought you were only 18. <laughs> okay, and Molly has a birthday. Molly's not here, so when you see her, thank, tell her happy birthday. So we all are singing Joy to the World with Nancy Ann playing wonderfully. And the song is over, so from our bulletin, let us proclaim our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified and dead and buried. Third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> I think we could sing Joy to the World the first verse, couldn't we? Probably. Let's try this Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature Pretty good choir. Pretty good. <laughs> good idea. So we'll now move uh, to our scripture reading. Uh, Jean, uh, this is Galatians 4, chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. This is Joe. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you were his child, God has made you also his heir. Thank you. And now, can the ushers come forward? Or as you come forward, grab the offering. 
It's like that James Wan movie. You're awful uh, efficient. It's supposed to be a prayer right before the offering. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this must be like what it was like in the 1800s when people met in folks' homes. We just kind of hold it together. <laughs> well, I'd think about riding that wagon and think about riding that wagon with a little old big people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, can we do the doxology? Okay. Praise, Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you. Surely back in the 1800s, uh, when people would go from house to house, it had to be this cold. But they made it, and we can make it with our fine heater. Ty, you're lucky because if this is wood burning stove, we'd all look around and say, who's going to stoke the fire? <laughs> and it'd be you. <laughs> so you'd have to go out there, split some wood, carry it, wobble it in, and start soaking the fire for the next 20 hours. <laughs> He's just spent the last four days at camp. Three days. Three days, two nights oh, at camp. Oh, so then we he's prepared. Camp. We had winter camp. And we were outside camping in this. Whoa. Mm -hmm. oh, no, so man. this feels like oh. a heat wave right now. Okay, well, <laughs> then we got the right one. So let's uh, see if we have any joys or prayer concerns that uh, are in addition to what we have in our prayer list. But it's kind of a joy to just think that when we have a problem there, we can all gather back here. There was a time when it was divided off, you couldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. Well, you could have. We've been from there over. Well, it's a joy to see how resilient you all are and tolerant. <laughs> We've talked about we are, our church is not just a building, it's, it's us. The people. And the people. Yeah. Yes. If we didn't have a uh, a beautiful church building to meet in, we'd still meet somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think we need to have a prayer for all the people that are suffering in this extreme cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Josh Phillips went home this week. Mm -hmm. okay. I had him up walking. And <coughs> I see the young man that had the complicated case of the flu pneumonia, and he was at Lebanon for mm. three weeks. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. I and think this, most of us know Harold Cothran and Joe Cothran. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Joe, they found a tumor in his brain, mm -hmm. um, and they start <coughs> chemo and radiation this week. Um, found out Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <coughs> Harold's been at the hospital back and forth, but uh, Mr. Joe is still in the hospital. So I'll he's, he's at home now because I know when Harold said he was. You can't be on yesterday. And then he was just this next because Harold, when I called him, he said he was still there. And he starts this with Roseanne. That Eddie Anderson, I saw a picture of him on Facebook. I'm friends with his sister, and at, he was at his mother's birthday party, and he, re he really looked good. He is, and you could take him off because he's just in a continual thing. You want to take him off. 
Keep our and Johnny Wayne in your prayers. Okay. Yeah, Tony's doing better right now. Good. His acupuncture is helping. Good. His appetite is better. Good. 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 It's amazing Good. the things acupuncture can do. Oh, it, I'm truly, it truly is. Yeah. <coughs> and it seems like it's a crazy thing. I know. It's not. But Joyce has our. We're not. Still suffering. Let us go in prayer. But I did have one phrase. Iris' niece that had the cancer went back for another colonoscopy to be checked, and she was all clear. Good. Mm -hmm. That is a joy. And Tammy, preacher's wife, has the flu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's got a pretty good case of it. Father, you've heard our concerns, you've heard our joys. We lay them at your feet, and you know our unspoken prayers. You know all about us. Please take them. Help those that need to help. Be with those. Take care of them. Be with us. And Father, let us pray the prayer that your Son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Alice, I don't, don't need to exclude you. Oh, I can move over there. No, no, that's fine. Just, just don't shoot me from behind. Oh, okay. I'm going to get you out. It's only going to be two hours. Oh, okay. Two or three hour sermon. I'll take you to go. You know, I guess I should have mentioned my sister's neighbors that they've been very good friends with. He got a job transfer and they left two days ago for Watertown, New York, which is oh. minus 35, oh. 62 oh. inches of snow on the ground. Oh. Oh. Well, they're going to miss Tennessee, aren't they? Yes, they will. Oh. Oh. And we miss uh, Brother Steve today and hope that he has had uh, safe travels and we want to keep his brother in our prayers and we also want to keep Tammy in our prayers. So again, good morning and I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas full of family and peace and joy. Um, I Yes, I realize the official Christmas day was earlier this week, uh, but we don't have to be to get super sensitized, just, super sensitized just for one day. That good warm uh, feeling should last every day for all year. Uh, that could be a good uh, New Year's resolution to keep that Christmas spirit for throughout the entire year. But let's go back to the beginning, the very beginning, which brings us to Luke chapter 2, verses 7 through 11. Verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there is no room for them in the inn. Verse 11. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Christmas. Imagine a world offered by many without Jesus. Ponder a moment what such a world would be if the baby Jesus, the incarnate God, did not happen. Think of such a world with no crosses, no churches, no Bibles. Many in the world today push our country and us in this direction. Happy Holidays, Seasons, Greetings. I mentioned three physical or symbolic objects, the cross, churches, Bibles. But three other things come to mind which are not physical. 
One is hope. Where would hope be in the world? Who brought us hope? Where and to whom would you look to for hope? In 1 Corinthians 13.13 13, But now faith, hope, love abide. The second is love. Where would the love be? You all know this verse. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he, say, that he gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him may not perish but it may have eternal life. There's more. 1 John 4, 8. The one who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Where or who would command love each other? John 14, 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. We are challenged to do more. Yes, loving one another sometimes is very hard to do. But now the Great Commission ups the ante. This is Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you, and remember, I am with you always to the end of age. This is love in action. If not God's love, would we end up with a world where we simply love ourselves? Then there is this. Forgiveness. Jesus grew up from this newborn baby to die horribly on the cross for our sins. In the process, he taught us the concept of forgiveness, and then his death forgave us our sins. At his death, he taught us this lesson. This is Luke 23, 34. Father, forgive them. Without the lessons of forgiveness, where would we be? Without him taking on our sins, where would we be? Do we become our own God? Many people will give you thoughts about Christmas. The world dazzles us about the bright lights, loud, aggressive advertising, and then the presents. Some piles of presents are higher than the tree. Jesus gets lost. I suggest you listen to Luke, John, and the rest of the Bible. The world today shouts a message without the baby Jesus. It is easier that way for sin, egos, and personal <coughs> desires to run amok. The brutal <coughs> noise of the world disorients our true nature. While the world screams, our heart whispers, the song of Bethlehem. Hope, love, and forgiveness reside within us every moment of every day. Christmas is a time of birth to welcome God's promises to the light. All you have to do is say yes. Yes to God and no to the world. Let us pray. Yes, God, Holy Father of all creation, awaken within me the eternal gifts of hope, love, and forgiveness. Also awaken a renewed spirit of thankfulness for the many blessings you have given. The best gift, best gift of all is the baby Jesus, who we celebrate his holy birth and remember the sacrifice he made for all of us. In the name of your Son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now think of music being played by Nancy Ann and the ever vigilant Ty coming up and dousing the candles. <laughs> and then we would sing, but I don't know if we all memorize the stand up, stand up for Jesus. We'll try it. Dick? Okay, you start us off and we'll rest we'll mumble. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He's so soldiers of the cross. Lift high the royal banners. It does not suffer loss. From victory unto victory is our
Very good. I'm so glad you know those words. <laughs> what do we need him those for if you know all the words? <laughs> Thank you, Roseanne. As Brother Steve always said, uh, are your hearts and minds clear? Is there anything else we should bring up before we dismiss? Ty, you got anything on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> There's nothing on Ty's mind. <laughs> Believe it or not, I mean, if everyone has a smartphone, you can get the United Methodist hymnal on your phone. Really? And there it is right there. You can search by number or title and it'll pull it up. <laughs> don't have any music, no. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Technology right here. Got the Bible and the hymnal on my Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> there, there went to me. <laughs> we shouldn't have bought handles. We should have used everybody as a smartphone. <laughs> we could just get a projector and a screen in church. And just, uh, Charles Wesley never envisioned that. Uh, we did that. Yeah. We could have walked in there and got the songbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Good, but we've got Roseanne who knows most of them. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> well, I put out the effort when yeah. we can stay here warm and let Roseanne sing for us. Speaking of the hymnals, that I noticed that the labels are here for the people that donated okay. the hymnals. Oh, Did you do those paintings? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I also noticed a lot of the photographs, I guess they've come in and yeah. they got spread around. When Judy and I got our <coughs> photographs, somebody mentioned, oh, it's a Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't see. Tell them, quit calling Judy a beast, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Judy. You know, sometimes silence is best. Uh, Judy is not not really well. She's fighting off that cold mm. and it's on antibiotics and some steroids right now, trying to help get better. Mm. Some days are a little better than others. The berry and Cheerios just aren't working, huh? I've kind of ramped it up a little bit. <laughs> I'll tell you when we're not being recorded. <laughs> All right, let us go in prayer for dismissal. Heavenly Father, creator of all that is good, thank you for this year. Thank you for this church. Please watch over everybody. As we go into the new year, Give us the spirit of Christmas that we can share with others. As we go into this new year, let us be aware that it's your will that we should follow. It's your kingdom that we should be uh, promoting and teaching others and bringing them to. Please keep everyone here safe and their families safe and healthy through this new year and guide us and keep us under your your wing of protection and let us do your will in all things in jesus name we pray amen, amen.